We have a monster multi-tool to talk about tonight, and this thing is huge. We've got a set of pliers with crimpers. Let's go ahead and close that up. We've got a four inch knife, serrated and plain, a combo edge blade there. We've got a two and three quarter inch saw, and they've thrown in a tiny little file. Isn't that neat? And then we have a Phillips screwdriver. We've got a flat edge screwdriver, and we have a bottle cap lifter. That is the tool set on this, but let's talk about how this actually works. So we've got a set of pliers that is actually better than I would expect for this tool. It does actually cut coat hanger fairly well. And then when we go to the twist test, which I think I may initiate for a lot of my reviews, the jaws actually hold up fairly well when you rock it back and forth. So a lot of times, multi-tools, the jaws have, have this tendency to sway to one side or the other, but actually when you hold them down firmly, they actually work fairly good, which I guess that means that this pivot is actually better than some other ones I've used recently. Now what we have is this right here is around 16 ounces. Yes, you heard right, 16 ounces. 15.9 ounces is what it says on Amazon. That's over 436 grams. This right here is eight and a half inches when it's open like this. When you deploy the knife, it is 12 and a half inches long. Huge tool. Very, very large. This comes in at $40, way over price on Amazon. They have reduced it down to 30, which is more of the price point you want to pay for it. But I think you probably want to pay even less, somewhere around the $15 to $20 range. I bought this used on eBay because I'd already seen this, and I don't think it's worth paying anywhere near that $40 mark. So we've got the pliers, again, metal on this side, more like a rubber rubber overlay of the metal on this side. This side is really light, this handle. This handle is very heavy. So we've already got the awkward issue of trying to grab this, and then we sort of have an uneven weight going on too, which is different. Right here we have this cap crimper, which should be on a military style multi-tool, but of course it used to be on the Leatherman Charge, so I'm assuming they thought, hey, why not add one more function to this tool? And that's what happened. So we have, again, this combo edge knife right here, four inches long. This thing is gigantic. It does lock into place, which is nice, I guess. But this is nothing to write home about. It's just more of your run-of-the-mill looking knife right there as, as far as steel right there. I don't think it's any special steel. Now we have the black version. We've got the lemon-lime version the collar, and then Caterpillar, of course, has to throw their name on this because they love to have their name on cheap multi-tools. So there is a Caterpillar version as well if you really want it. Now, what we have right here is we've got the Phillips screwdriver, and then we've talked about the bottle cap lifter and this straight edge screw, screwdriver, rather, and neither of these lock, which is very disappointing. I really wish these had been locking, but they're not. So on such a mag, well, they call it the uh, Magnus right here. So on such a huge tool, I don't know if I'd really call it mighty, but on such a huge tool, I really would have loved to see like a huge bed driver or something totally crazy, like a Klein 10 and one or whatever, something just insane. But unfortunately we're just left with something reminiscent of Cobalt's plumbing multi-tools right here. So not a huge impress, not that impressed with that. Then we've got the saw, this file sort of thrown in, and that ends the tool set. So that is unfortunate. I like when people stretch the boundaries and they design something crazy, but it's got to work. It's got to be useful. If it's huge and weird and different, there needs to be a purpose for it. And the only purpose I see for this is essentially for, well, for display, really. I'm not sure how many people are going to use this because it's sort of too heavy to use the pliers. 
It's sort of too heavy to use the knife. I think a lot of people will just pick up another tool and this will end up being a multi-tool drawer warmer, I guess, or drawer filler. So let me know if you have one and if you like to use it. If this was the only tool available, I definitely could find some use for it. But I feel like there's a lot better uh, tools out there, even in the definitely in the $30 range and surely in the $40 range. So let me know if this has been very useful for you. At the moment, this is not something I would recommend unless you're a collector. But if you're a collector, I don't know if there's anything quite like it out there, so you might want to grab one.